excited. You should be excited. You've been so good all day. Yeah. So you know what to do. You give them all the love in the form of applause and whoops and cheers. Start cheering now and welcome to the stage, Katie Come on in. Um, that was just a bit of classical music playing. You yeah, might not have no, heard it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never yeah. heard of it. Yeah, it's it's new. It's new. Oh, it's, it's new, great. new classical. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks Thank for having me. No, we've been waiting all day actually. Uh, there's there's more and more uh, school uniforms appearing. So either a coach has just pulled up and they're on a trip, or <laughs> <laughs> we've got some Hogwartsian Hogwartians. Hogwartian. What do you? What do you? Hogwartians. Hogwartians? Hogwartians. Hogwartians. Yeah. Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Hogwarties. Uh, Hogwarts. Hogwarts. <laughs> Sounds like a horrible pig crisp. Yeah, I would eat them. You would as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would. And that's how we sell all our uh, gifts. <laughs> yes. Regardless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so we ask this question to every guest that's come on. Yes. Have you been to Brussels before? No, this is my first time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's been great. We are, uh, so I'm with my best friend Hamish, and we just arrived uh, on the Eurostar yesterday afternoon. It's a good so, train. Yeah, it's great. I mean, I can't believe how quick it is mm. to get here. Like, I really don't have an excuse now to not come back. Um, but we, as soon as we got off the train, we just dumped our stuff at the hotel, and then we went straight for a beer tour, um, and we tried about, I think, eight different types of beer. You guys have got great beer. So, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. that's really first strong. Thing that's earned a round of applause today <laughs> from a guest. Well, that's the thing. When the first year I came here, they they because in England we drink pints all the time. Yeah, we do. And I came in, they went here, have a glass of this. I'm like, oh, I think I'll have a pint. <laughs> and everyone went, yeah, you can start with a glass. Uh, <laughs> when you've been here a year, we'll give you a pint. And it just ah, oh, it's mad out. because you don't even taste the alcohol. No. You know, because you, you can just drink it like a normal pint of Guinness, but it's like 15%. Yeah. Which is... It's yeah. the same with their chocolate. You can't taste the fat, <laughs> so you just keep eating it. Yeah, and yeah, then you're yeah. like, why do I feel so sick? <laughs> so the chocolate's good. so good as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my teeth have been hurting since midday because of the chocolate. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, thank you for coming. And no, thanks for having me. Thank you for... Uh, Seeming so fresh. If I'd been on a beer tour yesterday, I would not Oh, trust me, it. this morning was a struggle. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I've kind of I've recovered now because it's been a few hours, but probably ready to, to have another one. Someone with a really long signature. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. So we should try and get you a beer on stage, shouldn't we? Oh, no. I've, no, because I get, like, Asian flush. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, if I drink, like, even the tiniest bit of alcohol, like, my face just goes so red, um, which is not pretty. I get that, but it's normally because I've said something really terrible. Oh, right, yeah, and yeah, And then yeah. I'm like, oh, no, I've done it again. No, that, but that's what happens as well, like, when I <laughs> drink too much, like, <laughs> double whammy. Right, so yeah. two, two drinks over <laughs> Oh, amazing. Um, now all I can think is, we should get you drunk on stage. Well, I'll be hey, <laughs> No, Cut do that. three hours later, and uh, another thing about that. <laughs> yeah. Imagine seeing like Cho Chang drunk. Oh, I mean, yeah. that, would, uh, that would definitely get the clicks. Yes, it would. Yes. Are you a meme yet? You should be a meme by You'll now. You'll definitely be a I meme. I don't know. Like, I don't, start that. I don't really use memes enough to know like what the good ones are out there or, you know, I never, like, uh, when I started using the internet and stuff or when it came into like fashion i was already like oh my god i'm so behind i just don't use memes when i'm i don't know tweeting you're or... not a memer i get it yeah i'm not a memer you you're not is that what it's called a memer i, I assume so oh. it's like a believer yeah <laughs> what's the difference between a meme and a gif or a gif well i'm glad someone finally <laughs> asked <laughs> Uh, a meme is basically just an image or something with text on it, and right. a GIF is a looping image. Moving, like, like video. And it's yeah. pronounced mm. GIF. Apparently. Oh, it's Apparently. GIF. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. But everyone but we, hates we, you if you say that. We, yeah. we, 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 changed it, we changed it to SIF years later, so. <laughs> Good one. Little joke there. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I am aware that I could happily do this for so long, but so I can feel the crowd going, ask us some Harry Potter stuff, please. Please. 
Please ask us some Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> One thing I want to know before we get full on into it yes. is, is Harry Potter the first thing you acted? Because you come from like a photography art background, don't you? Yeah, well, I went into photography after Harry Potter. Right, right. So before I auditioned for the part, I hadn't acted before. Um, and we didn't even have drama school at, um, in the high school that I went to. So I thought you were going to say it's Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have drama school in Scotland. <laughs> they don't have plays. They don't. I mean, we have one drama school in Scotland. It's on an oil rig out there. <laughs> <first>. <laughs> um, yeah, so it was, uh, it was a fluke, really. It was a uh, luck. Everyone who I've yeah, so how, to, when you yeah. say luck, like yeah. how, did, how did you come across the audition? Because you so just fell my, into a room? Or? My dad was watching, this is so weird, but my dad was watching um, the Chinese channel. It was like a satellite channel. Um, and they put out a casting call for, for the role of Cho Chang. Um, so like after the news every night, they've always got like these kind of like bulletins um, to kind of, I don't know, uh, advertise events and stuff that are going on and then uh, yeah they they were yeah they were asking for for people to come to this open edition at Pineapple Studios in London um, nice. and they said oh if you're if you're Chinese if you um, if you're 16 which and I was 16 at the time uh, then you should come to Pineapple Studios and audition for this role and at this point I you know I didn't. I didn't really know who she was either. I just knew that, like the description in this bulletin was, you know, to play Harry's love interest. So had I didn't you, know to what extent. So either. had you read the books or? I'd read the first three. Right. So and uh, yeah, she doesn't really kind of come into it until a bit later. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's in the third, but like, yeah, I didn't know much about her. But I mean. And were you up in Scotland? Did you go down to London? Yeah, for yeah. It? So I was up in uh, Motherwell, which is where my my dad still lives. Um, and the the casting call was on a Saturday, so I was uh, I wasn't at school that day. I was off I was off school, and my dad's off was off work on a Saturday, and it just it was just coincidence. Um, and it just yeah. And he was like, so went get down, down to there. London, did an audition, saw Big Ben. Yeah. All the sights. Yeah. Change your life. Great work. I know, mad. Yeah. But it wasn't like, I didn't get it like from that one edition. I then had to kind of go through oh, a series a of like workshops and stuff like that. So. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that all in London as well? Yeah, yeah. Ooh. What did they, was there anything that they got you to do or that you had to learn during that? Yeah, I remember they asked me to, they gave me the, uh, a scene from the script or from from the book actually and uh, oh no was it it was an improvised scene so it wasn't even a scene from the book it was just like oh Cedric um, Cedric dies so I want you to like kind of look through the scene but then improvise when you get into the room so then the drama school, well, they got a drama school teacher in to kind of like help us with the workshops and stuff. And then when we got into the room, well, when I got into the room, we, we just started improvising, like just kind of, yeah. And I was like, Cedric! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That's a good yeah. You and know, then, now I hear the voice, the character just comes back. <laughs> um, yeah, and then like the, the drama teacher like obviously like pretended he was dead. And at one point I was gonna like resuscitate him and I was like, I don't know how appropriate this is because you know, I've just met this guy and I could potentially be like kind of locking lips with him. So then I was and then I kind of stopped it. I just shouted cut for myself. So I didn't, so didn't want to go there, yeah. Oh. No, like this girl's got boundaries. I like I know. it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, when when is the moment that you realise, oh, this might happen? Because Harry Potter is still massive by that point, isn't it? Like the first two would have been out, wouldn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, at what point did I? I think when they got me in for the screen test. So um, after after doing the kind of workshops and stuff, they called up. Uh, they called me up and said we'd like her to come to the studios, like Leavesden Studios, which is where they film the movies, um, to do uh, yeah to do a screen test, which is when you've got like the producers and the director and a bunch, whole bunch of people, uh, kind of watching you, and they've got they set the camera up, and they they got me into the Gryffindor common room, and that's when I met Rupert and Dan because they were filming that day, and they were like, oh hi, nice to meet you, and I was just like, holy. 
crap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, beep. Um, yeah. You even sent it yourself there. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, uh, no, it was just really surreal. And then uh, after the screen test, the casting director, Fiona Weir, she sat me down with my mom and she's like, you do know that if you get this part, then we're going to have to take you out of school and you're going to have to, like, be... Um, yeah, you're going to have to study while you're filming. And I was like, yes! <laughs> please do that! Um, so, yeah, it was really... Yeah, that's kind of when I knew, I think. It's, it's, but, I mean, it's like... It's such a... Because everyone we spoke to who's come from Harry Potter... Yeah. Everyone has their own sort of, this is how I got it, and no one just sort of goes through a sort of standard... Act, yeah, acting and then yeah, yeah. audition and stuff so it's really mm. interesting to see that they just yeah yeah I do feel as well like they went out of their way to like cast unknowns yeah mm. so like if you went if you, if you like had trained and stuff like that then I think you were probably less likely to be seen I don't, I don't know I just got the vibe that they were looking for kind of people they'd never met before and just kind of new talent um, so yeah and that's really nice I guess it's interesting they did that as well because obviously the adults in the show they've yeah. got like so much legacy from especially UK acting oh absolutely like, like the, yeah, the, yeah. the cream of the crop mm. and and then obviously like to be and amongst, then I was <laughs> no but I was going to say to be amongst that like because they're not going to go hey these guys are great they'll they'll hold you guys up don't worry like so it must be like quite a weird feeling to know that they put you on the same level as these like yeah. already established legend yeah totally but then at the same time i you know, i wasn't really aware how big you know the the adult actors in the films were and it was like only over time um kind of getting to know them more and yeah, like yeah. becoming more involved with like the movie industry and like watching more movies as a result of being in it that i realized that they were in like everything and they had like huge CVs so... And you see um, them when they're really young and you're like, ah! Oh, yeah, 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 absolutely, like. yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was kind of like that, which really worked out well for me because uh, otherwise I, I think I would have just been really starstruck and overwhelmed yeah. the whole time. Um, so I was able to kind of just be myself a bit more. Um, yeah, but then obviously towards the end, I was like, oh my God, Alan Rickman, oh my God, like Ray Fiennes, like, it was just mad. It's, it's crazy. It's so it, yeah. mad. Um, and also just watching like Helena Bonham Carter during the uh, the final battle, because I we didn't really have, we didn't have any scenes together, so there was just like, there's so many of us in this one scene, and she was just chill AF. Like, she was just, she was just having so much fun and like just playing about as Bellatrix and like just kind of, she just had so much confidence. She just like oozed like this charisma and I was like, I want to be that. So I found it really inspiring yeah. to be just in her presence. Um, and I think that's when I realized like, oh, I need to... I need to up my game. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've gone on to do a lot more since then. Like, you've done a lot of stage stuff in yeah, London. Yeah, no, and... I've been really lucky. Um, well, also, it's, like, hard work as well. But um, I think after after Harry Potter, I wasn't sure if I still wanted to continue acting because, you know, in my head, I kept telling myself that I just got really lucky. Um, and I guess, like, I kind of lacked... I lacked a bit of confidence and I... I was like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't know if this is for me. And I left and did photography for a bit. Um, and then this uh, audition came through for a stage play uh, at the Young Vic in London. And and then I got it. And after that, I just kind of fell in love with acting again. And what play was that? It was called Wild Swans. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's an adaptation of a book. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So that was really cool. Um, and as soon as I was on stage again, I was like, wow. I was, mean, that was, sorry, that was the first time really I was on stage, like doing stage work, um, acting on stage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because also the Young Vic is a, it's a, a huge institution. Yeah. And it's, it's seen a lot of people grace its floor. Yeah. And you, you must have known at that point then when you got the audition that, oh, like I must be pretty good at this because they don't just past anyone you know yeah I mean I still still I was like oh they just gave me the part because of this <laughs> this this I just really didn't really believe in myself so and even now you know you have those moments and I think it's quite normal as an actor yeah. because like you're not always working so like when you're not 
you just kind of start thinking that you know all the kind of negative things about the industry and you're like oh you know I could you know after a week of finishing like a, a big show or something I'll be like okay now I'm ready to work again yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's really, really reassuring though because yeah. the thing is you look at people like yourself and, and you think oh they can never have imposter syndrome uh, and totally. then to know that you do I think there's a, probably a lot of people who think oh well they're really good so mm. maybe if I think that about myself maybe I'm actually really good when people look at me yeah and, yeah yeah, you know, oh, it's, yeah. It's good to be honest about it totally yeah. totally yeah. you know it's just um, yeah it's, it's hard it's hard but also it's so worth it because I'd much rather be doing this and kind of um, struggling than I don't know being an accountant <laughs> Nothing wrong with me, like an accountant. Yeah, I just, just I really like take it out, accountant. <laughs> just all these accounts. Just yeah. walk out. No, I'm just, I, I just couldn't do that. I just, I don't like being kind of boxed up. I'm always, yeah. Uh, I always like to kind of try new things and, um, yeah. So it's kind of, it's kind of perfect for, for my personality, I guess, as well. So yeah. But I mean, you, you do have that sort of thing because. You obviously are drawn towards creative outputs. Yeah. Like the fact that when you weren't going to act for, or thought you weren't, you went towards photography. There's yeah. obviously something in you that needs that sort of output anyway. And it's yeah. always interesting to see that in other people. Yeah, so, totally. Yeah. And more and more, like when I do, a, a, when I'm on a job, it's not like, you know, I realize that it's not just about, like we're just kind of pawns, you know, we're kind of just part of like a bigger piece. Um, uh, yeah, we're just like a tiny little piece in the puzzle and like it takes like so much effort and creativity from like loads of people and it's about kind of collaboration and and like generosity and stuff like that and really understanding um, the importance of everyone else's job. Uh, yeah, because otherwise it's just, it's just all ego, isn't it? Because you're always like thinking about yourself and how you can be better and that's important too, but like you want to, I don't know. But I think that comes with like experience and age. Like yeah. it's not, uh, you know, I can I can like preach that, but I, I think you have to kind of get to a certain point where you just go, actually, it's not about me. <laughs> yeah. I'll never reach that point. <laughs> <laughs> um, how are we doing for time, Beck? Do yeah, we want to get it out? Yeah, we've got about ten minutes, so we should see we, if there's. We know you guys minutes. like to us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Questions. I very rudely talked over you then, Beck, and I apologise. <laughs> I got really excited. We got a question down here. I'm a coming. <laughs> Hi. Um, I was wondering if you could choose any magical creature to be. Uh, which one would you choose and why? Oh, you can be any magical creature. Um, any magical creature. Oh, can you give me a list? A list give of magical pieces. Yeah. yeah, do you know any? That you yeah. Can? yeah, let's, what would you be? I would rather be uh, a hippogriff or a phoenix so can travel everywhere. Yes, a hippogriff actually, because that's, um, they're really, like really majestic, really cool kind of, they kind of ooze like, I don't know, like royalty. Yeah, but they're yeah. also a bit fierce. Oh, like super yeah, fierce as well, yeah. but like really elegant. Uh, yeah. That's a good mix. Yeah. You're the Beyonce of the creatures. Oh, <laughs> damn. Yes. 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 I'd be a narwhal. That is a Any questions out this way? Okay, I'm gonna, if you want to come forward, you two, and I'll get this one whilst you do. Harry Potter actors, um, Ivana. Ivana, she's like one of my really good friends actually. Um, we've, yeah, since the films, we we always kind of, uh, we're always hanging out actually. She was supposed to come to mine last week to like play video games, uh, but then she was she was busy so we cancelled, but like we, she doesn't live far from me so we, we, we hang out a lot. Um, what video games? What video games? So I introduced her to Overcooked, 
Oh, uh, which is a great game. Do not play that with anyone you are going out with or... Oh. <laughs> no, I play with my cousin Fiona and like at the end, because she's so rubbish. Um, if you're listening, after, Fiona. No, but after, <laughs> after we play it, I literally can't talk to her. I have to go, like, you know, we, we play it, you know, in the evening and then, you know, when it comes to bedtime, it's like, all right, okay, good night, whatever. But like, once, if we're playing that game, like, I, I can't even look her in the face because I get so angry. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah, and I, uh, yeah. This is, this is when you tell us Fiona's like five or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you were going to ask the same question, but you got another one? Yeah, she's good, she's good. Hi. Hi. More or less the same question, but who did you go on better with, Robert or Daniel? Hey, uh, Robert. <laughs> yes. Um, only because uh, because we both came into the fourth movie at the same time and we were like newbies. So like the newbies kind of like hung out with each other. So I got to know Rob a lot better. Um, and like Daniel's lovely, uh, but I just, I did hang out with Rob a lot like when we were, when we were not filming. Uh, so that was, yeah, he's, he's a great guy. And so is Dan. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, the follow-up question, what the hell's wrong with Daniel? <laughs> um, okay. um, we're going to try and take as many different people. There was another question down. Yep, we'll grab that. Um, I was wondering if you could get the chance to be part of another big franchise, say like Star Wars or a Marvel movie or anything else. Uh, would you still do it? And which one would it be? Oh, um... I'd love to be a part of uh, Stranger Things. That oh. would be a cool one. Oh. Um, you would rock the 80s, actually. Oh, yeah. thanks, man. What would love it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shiny coat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Stranger Things or uh, The Walking Dead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, is it, it's The Walking Dead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we had a. Uh, I was going to do character name so I get it right. Seth Gillian. Yeah, we yeah, had a. Um, right. yeah. yeah, yeah. Gabriel, we had it oh, this right. morning, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I think, oh, it's such an amazing series, you know, like, what they've done with it, and how it kind of, like, goes beyond the realm of, like, just zombies, you know, it, it's like, it becomes, like, about family politics, and it's, like, it's so deep. Um, no, I love it, I love it, and I, like, I've always, so when I was at drama school, uh, we had to write down, like, kind of, um, archetypes for like so you would like you know look at your mate and go what kind of character do I see you playing um, and a lot of people said about me that I was the unlikely survivor in a, an apocalypse <laughs> so I like really want to kind of play that role at some point in my life unlikely yeah, as well. yeah. unlikely yeah it's <laughs> kind of like a backhanded compliment yeah accidentally killing zombies yeah. 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 they're the best ones though in those sort of shows because they're the ones who have to have a snap moment where they're suddenly equipped to be in that world yeah yeah they're yeah, yeah. matter of time yeah. someone write that script yeah. and I'll be in your movie <laughs> We asked this earlier, but now we can naturally ask you, yeah. do, you do you have a zombie plan for getting out of London? For getting out of London? If it happens while you're in London. Um, no, not yet. But um, I've got like a grocery store around the corner, so I know that I can stock up on like all my tinned food. So do all your neighbours. You're already dead. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, but I have thought about it. I think about it all the time. Like. Even when I'm like, I was in my hotel room last night and I was like, ooh, ooh, if, if there was going to be a zombie apocalypse, like, how would I get out of here? Oh. I think everyone does it. Someone says beer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a pro.